Cool, cool. Okay. I think okay, I should actually close that. Cool. Okay. Let's go. Let's get the let's get this show road on the showy show. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. Um so I don't have a huge amount of time tonight. Um I'm gonna stream for as long as I can okay, Mr. Lizard, can you not? I'm gonna stream for as long as I can. Uh, I may have to duck out later on, um, but we'll see how we go. I kind of want to try and finish this tonight. Once again, we will just see how it goes. But um, yeah, if not finish, then let's just make a fucking huge ass dent in this. Responding to some. Be right with you guys. Responding to freaking stuff. Be right with you. Snapchatting. Friend of mine just sent a Snapchat like, I can smell my neighbor's weed from three doors down. I'm like, dude, go get some. <laughs> ah, yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. I ain't shit. Let's just hope you're made of tougher stuff than the last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, here is my riddle. I am a vessel without... Yeah, I know the riddle. I know what it is. I know the answer. I really, uh, forgot how much... I used to actually be scared of this level when I was a kid. I don't know why, something about, you know, tombs and shit, it, it kind of creeped me out. Now I'm just like, this level looks fucking awesome. So cool. I also really like a lot of the redesigns they did for this level. I think it looks really nice. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm uh, trying as hard as I can to finish this game before I may have to go out later tonight. <laughs> Professor Prank, Professor Prank, he'll make you laugh, he'll make you think, he likes to run and do the thing with the person. <coughs> uh. That monkey is going to play life. Hey, uh, oh, fucking this thing. Hi, Redback, how you do? Oh, boy. That monkey is going to play. Hey, Redback. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, dude. <laughs> Look, you picked a good one to start. I gotta, I gotta give you that. That is, a, that is an excellent Simpsons quote to start off the stream with. Uh... <laughs> uh, ba, da, da, fucking fuck you there we go we got him oh is there a fucking no there isn't that's that sucked wow <laughs> as soon as I try to like not not speed run but like I'm like, oh yeah, I need to, I need to do this quickly. As soon as I try that, like everything just goes to shit. He likes to run and do the thing with the person. Go oh, there. That monkey is going to play. 
I used to be able to do a really good Professor Frink impersonation when I was younger, and now not as much. He was my favorite. I loved his, uh, his car in Simpsons Hit and Run. The one that, like, floated above the ground and went invisible if you drove it long, fast enough in a straight line. I thought that was super neat. Th yep, there are most certainly more things I need this for. Come on, throw another one, you big fucking galungus. Chungus galungus. The fucking hover car, yes! The hover car. He also had like a hover bike, which I never ended up getting because I uh, was always too poor. <laughs> and I think I, actually no, I think I did get it and then never used it because it was way too fragile. The hover car was fragile too, but like, the hover bike, you hit like one thing, it just explodes. Fuck you. Uh, oh, extra life. Nice. I'm doing, I am, I am swimming in those extra lives. Watch me lose them all when we get to the last level. Hmm. Oh boy, howdy. Once again, I love how, like, happy and fun this snake looks. He's just like, Hey! How you doing? Trailers for MK11? I didn't. I haven't watched them yet. I watched the one they debuted at the Game Awards. I haven't watched the new one um, that came out, like, earlier today or whenever that fucking was. But, um... I've heard things. I heard Ronda Rousey's voicing Sonya Blade, which honestly kind of fits. I think. That's all that's all I know so far. I need to actually ah uh, fuck. I haven't I am frothing titties. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing, Redback? Ronda confirmed. Yeah. Yeah, she confirmed. Um, look, I, uh, I, I have a, I have a pretty non, I'm gonna admit, I have a pretty non-existent relationship with the, um, with the Mortal Kombat games. I'm more of, like, a, a, a dedicated admirer. I've, I've always watched them and thought they looked fucking awesome, but never really played them. Other than, like, I played Injustice. I like Injustice, if I'm being honest. Um, titties that froth can only be, <laughs> I mean, fair. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I really like the designs of the Mortal Kombat characters, and I really love the look of it. It's like me with most fighting game series, like, the big fighting game series, like, Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. I've probably played, like, Soul Calibur. I've probably played, like, one or two of them in my life, and really liked what I played, but could never, like, justify buying the full game. You know? Those are always games that someone I know owns, and we play for a couple rounds, and it's a lot of fun, but then I, I don't know if I'd go buy the game myself. Um, except Soul Cal. I would, I would actually buy Soul- I think I did actually go buy Soul Calibur purely because, uh, the character- Not Soul Cal 6, but like Soul Cal, um, who's he, what's it? True. True, true. Uh, Soul Cal 4. I had Soul Cal 4. I really liked that game. It was fun. It had uh, fucking some really good character creation stuff. Um, God damn these rocks! Had a lot of really cool character creation stuff, and also had uh, who is he? What's this? the the fucking Star Wars characters in it, which was so weird, but so great. Okay. Veda Yoda and Starkiller, yes! I think Yoda was one of the first bits of DLC I ever bought for a game. Because, you know, he was, um, he was Xbox exclusive until they made... until they just made him DLC, because why not? Okay, could I get a thank you? Sparks, once again, not pulling your weight, man. Oh, Lord. 
building. Oh, wow. I okay. Don't explode. Don't explode. Thank you. Spit. Missed it. Missed. I fired, and then I missed, and then I fired again, and then I missed. I missed. I fired. I hit something, but it wasn't what it was going for. So I guess you could say I missed. Uh. And then I fired, and then I missed. Got sad. Went went to the freezer. Went in for a popsicle. I missed. Got a lettuce. The first round of the annual demolition hovercraft competition is about to begin. Completely forgot there that Starkiller no debuted in Soul Cow before. Did he? Answer a riddle to qualify. The riddle is this: If one dragon can lay one egg in twelve years, how long would it take for one hundred dragons to lay one hundred eggs? Oh, that's a real head scratcher. Twelve years. Very impressive. That is correct. Good luck in the day. I fucking loved playing Star Killer in um in uh Soul Cal 4. He was he was like fucking filthy. He had like the most insane stupid combos. I loved it. Of course I, I fucking had no idea what I was doing, so it helped. It definitely helped. You know, you go for the fighter who has the insane combos. I died. Wow, that was very one-sided. Uh, please don't tell me I have to solve your stupid riddle again, please. The first round of the annual the riddle is Yeah, it's twelve years. Cool, cool, cool. Dodge left oh, okay. That's how you dodge left and right. Okay. Okay. Got it. Fucking spectacular. Hello, sir. Would you like some pain? I have plenty to share. Also, a Power Rangers fighting game got in it. What? When and how? Where? Is it like an actual fighting game, or is it some... My ch <laughs> thing. Well, well, that was a fierce battle indeed. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. Oh my god, this is real. You may battle for the grid? The, championship round. the fuck? However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one piece? Oh, I want it! Oh, I want it! Who's making this? Who is cr who is creating this? Uh, upcoming fighting game developed by Enway. I have no idea. <laughs> What's an Enway? About three pounds. <laughs> uh. My, my, such a brave reptile you are. It looks cool. I'm in. Need much more than bravery. Okay, I'll I'll fucking take on your stupid fucking bullshit goddamn motherfucking shit challenge. Come here. Fuck you. You should read Boom Studios Power Ranger series. Probably yes. I don't have a huge amount of time to read comic books these days, unfortunately, but. When I do, I, I go for I go for series I like. I my entire history with comic books is going looking at shelves and thinking, oh that looks cool, I'll read that, and then not knowing anything about the series before or after because I'm trash, actual trash human. Okay, fuck. Yes. Can I get this guy? Yes. Give me that firefly moth. Fuck. Uh, other than Power Rangers, have Boom Studios done, like, anything really big in terms of comic books? Because I hear their name thrown around a bunch, I just have no idea who they are. Other than the people who make Power Rangers, apparently. Yeah, fuck him. 
Go ahead and consider that. Oh yeah, fuck him. <laughs> you know, I hadn't actually considered that. That was indeed a battle. Yes, it's TJ Miller. That yeah, looks like something TJ Miller would do for a movie, maybe. If you felt like it, I don't know. I'm funny. I do. I I do this and make the funny ha ha's. Can't you tell how hilarious I am? Come on in, it's laser time. Hell yeah. I hey, man. you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet. Do you remember the riddle? Yes. A vessel without... Believe it or not, it's not a bandicoot. That's a good joke, though. I like that joke. That's a nice reference. I get that reference. It's an egg. Mm. Have you heard that one before? I never thought you'd get it. Very well, a bargain is a bargain. Okay, apparently Morgan Tremaine liked my link, the link to my sources. Twitch. I don't know who Morgan Tremaine is, but awesome. They do a lot of licensed comics. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a unique baby. 10,000 years for someone to solve that riddle. Now I can finally head off the seashell shore to bury some bones. Oh, he gonna bury some bones. If you know what I mean. Hello? Sir? Well! <laughs> 10 out of 10! 100 out of 100! Best game! Best get Spectacular! Cannot tell that they, they uh, spend an extra month putting this game together. Can't tell! You just can't tell! Mm. Mm -hmm. For real, I do enjoy this game, but fuck, man, it's, it's a little buggy. He said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny. Come to think of it, oh boy, that dog's gonna bang. Okay, Agent Nine. Behind this door. The five deadly trials of King Rope. You know, I like that each of the dogs you have different you hats. Um, footsteps. My, my, you're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. Um, excuse me. Fuck you. <laughs> Just shoot a guy. Just fucking dead a dude. Oh, oh, that feels so nice. The camera actually controls with the right analog stick. That's lovely. Adventure Time, Big Trouble in Little China, Bill and Ted, Clueless, Dark Crystal, Firefly, Fragger Rock Labyrinth. That's... that's a lot of fucking... licenses. That's a semi-ridiculous amount of licenses. Goddamn. Cool though, neat. Kinda like IDW these days. I remember IDW used to make their own shit and then they just basically became a license house. The DC owns, I think. What? ID IDW were one of the original six of Image Comics, right? And then they got bought out by, um, DC? Am I, am I remembering that right? I don't know why IDW came up, I just, I was thinking about it. Um, being very obsessed with Image Comics for a while when I was younger because, well, I liked the stuff Top Cow did, and I wanted to like all the other stuff. DC doesn't own IDW or Image. No, I know DC doesn't own Image. Um, I swear IDW got bought out by DC, but I might be remembering that totally wrong. I think Image... I know there were, like, six, like, publishing houses that, like, spun off and, okay, no. Let me try and remember that, right. It was, um, a bunch of very talented people who used to work for Marvel and DC got together and decided they wanted to each start their own publishing houses, you know. And that's how Image Comics started. And I believe there were six originally. Six of the publishing houses. Dark Horse, Image, IDW, Top Cow. No. Um, 
what was I? No, it was it was like um, uh, yeah, no, image was, um, image was, top cow, um, McFarlane Entertainment, Wildstorm, mate, fuck. Now I have to look it up. Image. Okay. Um. Um, creator and properties. Highbrow Entertainment, Shadowline, Skybound, Todd McFarlane Productions, Top Cow, Joe's Comics, and something called MV Creations, I guess, are all image. I only really liked the Top Cow stuff. I, n I like, um, I like Spawn. I never really read much of it, but I like it. Um, but I, I really liked a bunch of stuff Top Cow did, because I was a teenager. <laughs> the darkness was cool, and, and Witchblade had boobs. Like, lots of boobs. That's, that's pretty much the entire excuse of it. And Witchblade had a neat anime that is highly underrated, in my personal opinion. Um, plus, Top Cow currently publishes one of my favorite comics of all time, so... Can't really hate them. <laughs> they saw that one of their artists was making a Not Safe For Work web series, and then they were like, Oh, fuck yeah, we'll publish physicals of that. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, there we go. Another level down. Let's get this moving. Oh, fuck me. <sighs> Oni Press. I know Oni, they made, um... They made, or oh, not made, but they published Scott Pilgrim, which I really, I really like as a comic book series. I am less enthusiastic about the movie. I really liked the movie when I was younger. Uh, as I've gotten older, I still think it's impressive. Um, it's an impressive looking movie, but I don't like it as much as I used to. But now I'm just trying to remember indie comic companies. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shonen Jump. Not an indie comic company. One of the most successful Japanese comic companies of all time. Redback loves Scott Pilgrim. Good. Good to hear. I really like the comics of Scott Pilgrim. Um, I think the movie is still very visually impressive. Like, it looks great. It sounds great. All of the actors are pretty great. I just don't like the way they handled some of the plot points. It makes Scott look like more of a douche than he is. I still actually have the Scott Pilgrim PS3 game. I really, I'm really happy I still have that. One of my favorite movies. <laughs> um, okay, I, I will not talk too much shit on it. I just like know that I like it. I prefer the comics, but it's, I still have fun watching it. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Jesus, they did not start me off well there. Let's let's try that again, shall we? Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, tell me right back, you, you, go ahead, dude, doesn't bother me. Okay, fair. Have you read the comics? I, I own all of them. I actually got into the comics because of the, the movie coming out. I missed one, haven't I? Have I? Fuck. Yes, I have. 100% missed one. What happened there? Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I used to fucking love that movie, man. Like, absolutely adore it. Like, really, really, 
deeply entrenched with how much I, I loved Scott Pilgrim as a movie. Am I starting me off too quick? They are! Oh, what the fuck? I should be starting back here so I can get that one. That is weird. Um... Yeah, I used to really fucking love Scott Pilgrim as a movie. I was... I have not. I really wanted them years ago, but other life shit was happening. Fair enough. I, um... Someone I, I knew posted about the movie. And it really, really, like, the... Just watching the trailers very much interested me. And my local bookstore actually had all of the Scott, well not all of, but most of the Scott Pilgrim comics at the time, so I was like, okay, I'll get a couple of these, see what I'm, see what the hubbub is about, and I absolutely, oh fuck me, sideways. I absolutely fell in love with the comics, man, like, like, holy shit. I read through one and two and immediately went and bought like as many of the rest as I could and kept up with them as they were as they were coming out. And I really loved I loved everything about them. I loved how the series ended. I thought it was very well rounded, very good. And then the movie comes along and when I was younger I thought it was so cool. I thought it was like one of my favorite movies of all time. And as I've gotten older and reread Scott Pilgrim and met some people who didn't like it and had like legitimate complaints and stuff, um, I found less and less that I enjoy it. But not in a, not in a like, oh this movie's bad kind of way. More in a like, I found things that annoy me and particularly about how they portray Scott and how what the po like the point. I feel like something was kind of lost in translation a little bit. Like there are just certain things that I think they didn't do as well as the original comic, but that's just me. The movie is still really fun. I'm not gonna like sit here and say I can't I cannot actually say it's a bad movie because it's not. The guy who ran the only comic book shop in my area wasn't an arrogant asshole. I'd be buying comics all the time. Fair, man. I, um... There's like only... There's only one comic book store around where I live. Well, actually, not where I live. Like, in the city. There's one really good comic book store in the city. And one not-so-great one. Um, and I go, I go there every now and then. There's also Kino Kunio, which is very good for getting, um, paperbacks and, and, you know, the big, nice, printy ones. But, um, you know. Uh. Sucks that, like, the one place you'd want to go to hang out and read comics and be happy has an arrogant asshole who runs it. That sucks, man. Okay. There's something fucked about the order of this. I think there's just something not quite right. Because I swear I... Yeah, there we go. He was being a prick to my brother who is six foot four and a unit of a man. Ooh, that sucks. Not fucking smart. Yep. I've been to one comic book store in Melbourne when I w well, like when I went down to Melbourne. I went to one. It was a uh, Minotaur Comics. Hopefully, it's not that place because that place has some cool shit in it. But um, I'd feel bad. Ugh. I don't know why, but the you came to Melbourne, you poor bastard. No, dude, I like Melbourne. I've I've been down a couple times. I actually I I'm starting to prefer it to Sydney. It wasn't Minnesota. Good. That's a that's a neat place. 
Um, I've come down to Melbourne a couple times in the last few years because of, um, well, that's where they held VidCon, and, um, I went to VidCon because I was doing the whole YouTube thing, and I was like, I really want to try and meet creators. I want to swap. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think Melbourne has a much better creative scene in terms of, um, people who are trying to make stuff, like, like Fenrir, and, um, and, and Poker Shadow lives in, in Melbourne, and, and people, like, my friends, my, my, my make shit online friends, you know, a lot of them live in Melbourne, I guess, um, but, true, but I fucking hate the, yep, Yarra Valley, fuck, man. Yeah, no, okay. That's fair. I, uh... If I did ever come de back down to Melbourne, it's like... Central Melbourne. <laughs> Stay staying in the city and shit. Um... I'm not going to rural Melbourne. I have in the past because I have some family who live out that way and oh no. No, 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 no. I think I hate the city even more. Really? Okay. I don't know. The... I can understand why. There are pricks in nearly any city you go to, but... Fuck, man. I don't know. Every time I've been to Melbourne recently, I've just had a, a whale of a time. Like, the last time, I think, was uh, mid-last year. I hung out with Fenrir a bunch, and, uh... Like, I, I think I stayed at his place. Well, I don't think. I know I stayed at his place. Um, but we all went to VidCon together, and it was a really... Just a, a fun time. Some of the most fun I've had in, in a while. Um... And I don't know the next- I don't- fuck me. I don't really know the next time I'm gonna be able to get down there, but I'd like to visit people again. I've tolerated the city whenever an event is on. Yeah, fair. Like BAM, like BAM 10 or Melbourne Esports. Yeah, fair. I, um. While I was down, I mainly stayed in, like. I'd say, sort of like the suburbs, just, just out of the city ish, kind of. Which was nice, honestly. And, um. Uh. It wasn't too bad. We'd go into the city every day for, uh, for the con, and just, when we weren't doing that, we'd either hang out with people or, like, go back to the place we were staying at. It was a pretty, it was a pretty, like, comfortable time. I don't know. I think it's, uh, it may be less about the place you're in and more about who you're spending time with while you're there. I don't know. I had fun in- I have fun in Melbourne because I get to spend time with people I don't see very often. And would love to see more often, you know? I'd love to just be able to hang out with Fenrir and, and Alex and, and, and all of their lovely peoples, but... There is a bit of distance there. <laughs> My other brother lives in Brunswick, so the traveling wasn't too bad. Plus, BAM 10 was fucking dope. What's BAM 10? I don't. I'm not up. I'm not really up on the uh, the Melbourne con scene, if I'm being honest. I'm not really even up on the fucking Sydney con scene because I can't fucking afford to go. But um. <laughs> mm. Battle Arena Melbourne. Oh! I think you told me about that. Isn't that where you met?
Fen. Fighting game community. Ah, okay. That's a fun. That's a. Uh, that's a fun community. Except when Smash Bros. is involved. Ugh. Actually, not the fighting game community. It's just Smash Bros. Hardcore Smash Bros. fans need to calm down. It is where I met Fen. Yeah, I thought so. You were telling me about that. Oh fuck, I just hit the mic real hard, my bad. Why would you want to play Ultimate? We've got melee set up over here. <laughs> that was a, That was a fucking funniest shit tweet I saw. I was like, oh it's so true though. Melee fans are just are just I like melee plenty. I fucking loves me some melee, but my god it's fan base is fucking nutty. I get it, it's it's a very nice feeling fighting game. You know what else is a really nice feeling fighting game? Fucking Smash Ultimate. And people need to calm the fuck down. Trust me, the Smash community was half of the fucking warehouse. I'd imagine. Big fighting game thing? Oh yeah, fucking half of uh, over half of it would be fucking Smash Bros, man. That does not shock me. I, I, I don't... I'm a, I'm a very casual Smash Bros. player. I enjoy playing it. I like playing as many different characters. I like playing in more than just Battle Arena and with no items on. I like playing the game because it's fun, not for competitive reasons. And some of the rules around competitive Smash Brothers and the community around some competitive Smash Brothers I find a little toxic, but... That's just me. They were louder than the Tekken 7 crowd. And, they, and we were very fucking vocal. Ooh. That says a lot. Why is this here? Why does that exist? Why does that room exist? Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, nearly fell in the lava. Um. Yeah, I'm not here to. Look, if you like competitive. It, like, I'm not saying anyone in the chat, but if anyone likes competitive Smash Bros. and likes watching that shit, that's fine. Just don't be a cunt about it. There are a lot of there are a lot of shitty people in the in the in the competitive Smash community, not the players like the fans. Granted, I'm sure some of the players are fucking trash too, but whatever, man. My brother, his mates, and I took so many competitor-only Red Bulls. Oh. Oh, that'd hurt. Oh, I haven't had a Red Bull in a while. I haven't not had energy drinks, I just haven't had, like, specifically a Red Bull in, in ages. What's a... I'm, com I'm curious as to what a competitor-only Red Bull is. Like, is it any different than a normal Red Bull? Is it... Well, no one stopped us. These Red Bulls are for competitors only. They have ten times the amount of caffeine in them, so that they can move their they can move their fingers at the speed of light. Because fuck it. They have maximum amounts of taurine, guarana, and caffeine. More than any <laughs> more than any human can usually fucking take. But these are competitors. These are professionals. They know what they're doing. Guy's sitting doing fucking sick kickflips in tech, and you take one look at him, he's like, Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I got stuck. Actually, that kind of helps, because I was right on his fucking ass. Ah, okay. Red Bull sponsored the event, so they had big can-shaped fridges with Red Bulls for actual convenience. <laughs> of fucking course. 
No, I always like those Red Bull shaped fucking tables, like the can, but it's a, it's a table. You just went up and took like. S <laughs> that is honestly something I would do. That is honestly something my mates and I would do. It's just all of a sudden, like, hey, you can't take those. <laughs> fucking A. Ugh. I could go on Mother. Not right now. My preferred energy drink of choice is, um, Mother, if I'm really feeling like it. Sarah's is V. Sarah actually has an addiction to V. I just like Mother. From all awful friends. <laughs> Oof. Red Bull is my second go-to, because V is fucking sugar water and I can't deal with it. Um... But honestly, these days I drink dare iced mockers because they are more filling and they keep me awake. Solid, solid stuff. Sometimes I want to, you know... <laughs> sometimes I want to drink a whole meal, that's all I need. Oh, God. I fucked up my shoulder somehow, I don't know exactly how I did it, but my shoulder is so fucking sore. Has been all day. Okay. This is one of the hardest levels in the game. Dino mines. Hit all the seahorses. Hit the secret dino. Oof. Those are the last two skill points I have to do. Ah, big oof. Okay. This is actually the last level of the game proper, other than, um... My favorite drink is whatever's on special... <laughs> Bro, same. Bro, same. I have like a dollar left in my bank account, so I can I can relate. I did have more money this week. I did actually have a lot more cash, and then my phone bill went through, and now I have like a dollar fifty in my account. Uh, Gosh darn it, Spyro! I came in here to check on my prisoner, only to find out he'd somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for... I love this little rabbit's mustache. He is adorable. Um... Ugh. Yeah. Being poor as shit. <laughs> but it's the lot we have to live in within life. So, you know, whatever, man. Oh, that sucked. How do I get to- oh no, I did that from the wrong area. My favorite trick is what it's on special. Uh, dude, I, f I feel that on a, on a fucking spiritual level. I try to drink cold ginger energy because my hair isn't <laughs> Oof. Gingers, rise up. Uh. What was it like? Was it just like ginger flavored energy drink? Not bad, okay. One of the weirdest energy drinks I ever had was in high school. Um, a mate of mine who does like, who, okay, does, did in high school like, oh my lord. Um, I had a friend who did like three unit maths in high school, which was like the highest level of maths you could do. And one day, he was like struggling one day, so he bought two cans of this like her Chinese herbal tea energy drink. Yeah, okay. Um, he brought like two cans of these this Chinese um, herbal tea energy drink or something. Came in like this red, um, red and yellow can that would not fucking break no matter what we did to it. So we called it the Iron Man can, um, and. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Um, so, we drank them. He, he drank, like, most of one. I drank, like... Actually, no, between us, we drank both of them. And we were fucking shaking all day. Like, like, holy shit. This, that was the most energized I think I'd ever been. Like, we were... <laughs> we were both sitting in English just, like... Fuck is the class over? Yeah, can we go? Can we go? Can we go? Can we go? 
the berry. Oosh. I think I've had that energy drink since, and they may have to either like I didn't get the right one, or they toned down the amount of caffeine in it, or whatever they had in it that energized us so very thoroughly. But it was uh, it was a it was a neat trip. Another time, a uh, a friend of mine. I don't know why he did this, but like over the course of like from recess through to lunch, he had like four or five coffees. Yeah, it was uh, it was it wasn't bad. It didn't taste bad either. Um, but yeah, I had a like my friend had like four of the equivalent of four or five coffees, and he was just like all through lunch he was bouncing off the walls, and I'm. <laughs> Came into English class afterwards, like at the very end of the day, and um, he was like head in hands down here, and I was like, "How you doing, man?" He was like, "Shut the fuck up, <laughs> dude." I saw the dude. He did. He'd been like running around the entire school because he was so damn energized, and then he was just dead throughout all of English. The teacher came over from like. It's like, what's wrong with him? I was like, uh, he's, he, he's having a caffeine nap. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, I don't really do energy drinks that much anymore. I mainly stick to coffee, because it is... <laughs> Aww. He entered the speed force. <laughs> yes. If anyone it, I knew was gonna enter the speed force, it would be that guy. <laughs> he is he is a special case. I love him so much. He's such a he's he, he's he's kind of a doofus, but he's also kind of a genius, and I respect him a lot. And I hope he knows that. Um Yeah. Fuck. Sorry. I can see through time. Yeah, no, it was one of those moments. It was, uh, it was one of those moments. I have had a few of those. On caffeine and other substances that are totally legal. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've had, a I've had a few I can see through time moments. Oh, I ain't getting the fuck out of here. I'm just gonna stay here and enjoy my nice little bar. Nope. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Fuck dino mines, man. These goddamn fucking dinosaurs just shooting everywhere. I don't need this shit. Okay. There are two things I have to do. I have to hit a secret dinosaur in the Agent 9 mission, and I've got to hit all of the, um... Seahorses in another mission. Lisa, is it too spicy for you? I can see through time. Between her, like, being the Lizard Queen and seeing through time, Lisa has had some very interesting <laughs> trips long before she has, you know, is old enough to do that shit. Does is Lisa biggest drug addict in The Simpsons? The truth may shock you. It's more common than you'd think. Okay, I gotta hit all the fucking seahorses. One of them dinosaurs. Sours? How did he fucking say? Oh, oh, the controls are a little wonky. Oh boy. And I gotta hit all the seahorses. While doing this, oh, you can get horrendously fucked. Oh, no, 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 there's one. Hello? Okay. Fuck. A duck. I'm not trying to run into you, sir. My, my, my apologies. My bad. Ooh, I don't think he's gonna come back from that one. Okay, oh. I don't like the collapsing things around me. I'm not not a fan. Do they stay dead? They stay dead. Oh, that's that's nice. Hell, goodbye. Oh, oh fuck. 
You'll be riding on the horses, yeah. You'll be riding on the- Shit! Ow. That's the way it's gonna be, little darling. We're gonna ride in on the horses, yeah, yeah. Uh, my friends play that every fucking time we hang out. We have like this, it's not even a set list, but it's like a couple songs that I don't hear unless I'm hanging out with my friends. Just casually, they put it on. I did actually discover <laughs> basically my anthem through one of them though. It's a very Australian hip hop song called Mad As Hell, which is literally about the guy who prefers to stay at home when all of his mates are going out partying, which is me to a fucking T. Fuck the falling rocks. Oh fuck, oh shit. <sighs> okay. Remember they there? Okay. You can do this. Fucking miss the goddamn fucking seahorse, shit, dicky, fuck. Uh. I'm glad that this is like the last proper skill point I gotta get. I know I gotta do the thing with Agent Nine, but that's like super easy. Okay, he's gonna be there, he's gonna be there, you fucking got him, spectacular. Let's just keep going, oh, that is a lot of team, that's a lot of tint. it's getting turned. Oh, I did it, oh fuck yes. Yes, yes it was some mighty fine swimming. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Now, I just need to... Are they all respawned? Please don't tell me they're all respawned. Oh, thank Christ. Okay. Well, I'll be, so that's how my prisoners keep escaping. Here, take this dinosaur egg away before it hatches. Giant Kiki! Giant fucking hole in the wall. Aw. Your glaces fell off. That's the cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see. <laughs> Same. Oh, I need, I need. I paid off my switch today. Nice! Nice! I have a new afterpay <laughs> that I'm gonna be paying off over the next few weeks. Um, I may have bought the Persona Dancing Games, which was about $169. So I'm gonna be paying that off of uh, four easy payments of forty bucks. I could be a deputy. Okay. Yes, you can walk around before doing this. Excellent. I'll get all the gems now. Yeah, I haven't played them yet. I'm actually saving them for something. Maybe if I can. Well, I want to. I want to actually play through Persona 3 and 4 first, and uh, finish Persona 5, which is going to take a while, so, um, that's going to be a thing. Um, but if I can finish them, and maybe even record or stream some of them within the next, like, six months, um, I may hold on to... Did one of the gems just fall? Um, I may hold on to the dancing games until my birthday, because... That would be a fun way to celebrate my birthday, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Cool collection, has a lot of really cool artwork that came with it, and the box is gorgeous. But, um, $169 is a little much. Also, it came, but granted, it did come with, like, um, it's two full games, and it also came with a free download of, like, the PS4 port 
of Persona 4 dancing all night, which um, was originally a Vita game. And you cannot just buy that, you actually need to get it from that special edition, so... I get- you like, I am technically paying for four- three full games, so... I guess that kind of warrants that stupid price, but, you know, whatever. I'm not too fussed about the Afterpay because it is only 40 bucks, a, 40 bucks every two weeks, and that I can manage a lot better than, like, say, 70 bucks every two weeks. That was actually doing me in. Um, but 40 bucks every two weeks shouldn't be too bad. I will need to, um, I bought the collector's edition of Soul Cal 6 for $230. Who Nelly! That's, a that's an ex- Expensive one. Um, I was not. I don't buy many special editions. When I do, I I try not. Like there aren't a huge amount of games that I that want that are special editions. But uh, fuck, that's a lot. And there it is. Sixty-eight hundred. He has sixty-eight hundred attack. Day one, I didn't even have to pay that shit. Fair. I do that sometimes. I got this. The, I this game I'm playing is actually the special edition that I bought. It came with a bunch of neat shit. If you just calm down for a second and stop all that whooping and hollering, I could tell you Worth what's it. going on. Fair. The Bailey gang I have a. If I could show you. Hang on. I actually probably can. I've never tried to move this before, but um. All the special editions I have are like sitting. I, I keep the boxes and I just sit them on top of my. Uh, oh fuck. Uh, sit them on top of my game stacks. Uh, I forget that I can move that. It sits so nicely on top of my screen that I forget that I can just move it around. Well, Down to. Alright. On rail shooter. Love it. Love everything about it. Yeah, Oh, okay, you got me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. As long as you don't hit, get hit like five times, you fuck. I just realized I did not have... Cool. We good. Fuck these guys. I'm a band, I'm a bandito. I can take the high road, but I know that I'm going on. I'm a band. Oh fuck. Uh, how did I not hit that guy? Okay, fuck that. Holy hell. This is getting a little bit rough. Oh fuck. Oh, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him! Fuck! I need to die. Hit me! Come on! Some- Come on. Someone hit me. Yeah, there we go. Oh god. Oh. He don't look too good. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, thanks Morgan Tremaine. Oh, I'm back here. Okay. Um, I've got all the gems. I've got that. Now I just need to do this. Okay. Have I mentioned I fucking love how Agent 9 controls in this game? Because my word, it's fun. If you just yeah, 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 yeah. Don Tootin. I should just keep the fucking circle button held down. Just tape it down. Ah, oh. oh, excuse me. I'll sweaty because I had a really big dinner. 
It wasn't really big, but it was big enough, you know. Someone messaged me back on Twitter after I was like, I was on Twitter praising how quickly EB Games delivered um, my collector's edition, the, you know, the fucking uh, Persona Dancing collection. I was actually like, wow, they did that in two days. That was really impressive. Good on them. And someone started talking about how, like, someone started, like, messaging, like, oh, it's kind of expensive, though. And I was like, yeah, Afterpay is a hell of a drug. <laughs> and then they were like, Oh, I'm under 18, so I can't use it, but, like, I'm super excited about these big games coming out and the collector's editions, and I was like, I feel awkward talking to you because you're underage. This makes me feel weird. I don't know why the Bailey gang was trying to... I don't know why it just did, but... Hey, that's not like them at all. I re Granted, I guarantee, like, half the people who subscribe to this channel, follow this channel, <laughs> probably can't Uh, I don't know, I feel awkward talking to teenagers, because I remember I was one, and I hate what it was like back then. I was just a... Prick. We unlock the art gallery, guys. This is um, this is neat. I love Jesus, Sergeant Bird. <laughs> this is cute. I like this. <laughs> neat. Oh, there's the baby dragons. Where's all that variety in the actual game? Uh, Moose Peridama. Okay. Mallet. I didn't realize half of these had names. Chinese Fire Dragon. I have less faith in the new Power Rangers game. It's the same team that did all the recent Power Rangers mobile games. <laughs> ah, well, that sucks. Hey, maybe it'll at least be, like, somewhat entertaining. As long as they, like, don't make microtransactions a thing, maybe it'll be fun. I don't fucking know, man. I haven't played any of the- I don't really play mobile games, so I can't really talk shit either way. So, good news. Um, we're now done with all the main levels, so we can go fight the sorceress properly. And then after that, all we have to do is a sparks level and the super bonus round, which is, um, you know, the final big level. And then if we can do that, then we beat in the game. That's it. We're done. Games will find what they are. Fair enough. Fuck, my shoulder hurts, man. Just, I don't know what I've done to it, but it just fucking hurts. Oh, yes, and we get to chase money bags around. One of the most satisfying things in the game. Alright, let's take... Oops, sorry. Let's take on the sorceress. Oh, that's nice. It's a, it's a... It's the loading screens from the first game. That's actually pretty... That's neat. I don't know why I like that, but I do. Still, I thought Capcom would have something to do with it. That'd be nice. Granted, 
Well, actually, I can't really talk shit on Capcom. They make some fun fighting games, but, um, wasn't Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite not super great? Actually, Redback, you may know this. Was the controversy over Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite anything to do with the gameplay, or was it purely about the aesthetics of the way the game looked? Because, like, I know it didn't look spectacular, but I didn't think it looked that bad. I thought the gameplay looked pretty fucking good, if I'm being honest, but I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't think Capcom has, like, I don't know. Does Capcom... Capcom doesn't have any, like, rights over the Power Rangers series. I don't think they do, at least. Capcom aren't really in the, um, making licensed game business anymore, since they can afford not to be marketing gameplay. Okay. Jeez, if the game, like, I, I don't know, it, yeah. I played the demo and I thought the gameplay was pretty okay. Granted, I might be totally fucking off. The whole function versus function name. Okay. Okay, gotcha. I fucking hate this boss fight, if I'm being honest. I kinda hate that you have to just jump on per- Ow, fuck! Like, the only way we can beat the sorceress is by jumping on a bunch of vehicles. Yes, that makes sense. I feel like they could have come up with something a little bit smarter than that. What are you doing? Ow, ow! Agent 9, please shoot down one of those sheep. Oh lord. Thank you. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. It was per player's explanation as to why the X-Men weren't in the game. Oh, right, the oh yeah, the X-Men weren't in it, I remember that. A lot of people were actually pretty upset about that. I've forgotten. And they had like a pretty decent, like, I do remember MVC3, the, uh, the X-Men having a pretty decent role. Fuck, MVC3 had X-23, who is one of my favorite Marvel characters, so, that game, ooh, I, I enjoyed that game. Actually, it had Deadpool, Ghost Rider, and X-23, who are, once again, a bunch of my favorite Marvel characters. Go away! Fuck you! Oh, fuck you! I just got on that! That's the thing I hate most about this boss match. All of the goddamn waiting. You have to wait for Agent 9 to pop the fucking balloons. Because people only care about the functions of the characters, not the characters themselves. That's- I care about the characters. I like the characters. Oh, I got her! Fuck! Well, alright then. Um, Agent 9, you could stop popping balloons now. Oh, it's Georg. That was his explanation. I 
I mean, that makes... Yeah. It's a very so corporate way of thinking just about it. A sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon worlds. What you plan to do next, hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in dragon shores, hmm? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> Hi, Bentley. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> yeah. mm. You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again. So of I course, Hunter's sure disappeared. More trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? What? Me? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> if, uh, if I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. Because no one wants to see Wolverine versus Rick. Yeah, thing, no. Spyro. Not that that's not like that's been like a big deal with the series for years. I ended up here. Uh, maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. Yeah, by a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So now that you're done saving the yeah. world again, are you gonna visit me in Avalar? Sure, Laura. But I still have to find the rest of the eggs, and well. Hunters disappeared again. Spyro, take a hint. Take a hint, dude. I can help I just on sneak off with him. Agent nine, isn't that a Rhinoc over in those bushes? A Rhinoc? Let me at him. You want a piece of me? Rhinoc boy. Hey, laser punk. Come on now. No fair hiding. Hey, I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. I mean, I'm sure he will turn up soon. Promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? Laura wants that dragon D. <laughs> now, how many times have I told that you that dragon? Got us, damn it! It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. They... <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Really? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. With what? What do they have a Chris promotion going for? <laughs> hmm. It's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. Just look away. Well, I guess we we'll are find the rest dork. of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. Mm hmm. Cured. Yay! We did it. We're still not watching the credits. Still not a thing that's happening. Capcom and Lionsgate have a cross promotion going on. What what cross promotion? A Lionsgate making a Capcom movie or Capcom making a, a Lionsgate game? Ryu Chun Li, M. Bison, and I think Guile are in the Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Oh, neat. God, that'd be cool. Fucking Ryu fighting. Were you fighting the Red Ranger? Any Red Ranger? God, it's been ages since I even thought about Power Rangers. I mean, I know that movie came out a, a couple years, like a year or two ago, but I did not go and see it. I kind of wanted to. It was on my list, I just never got around to it. Um, uh, what series did I watch growing up? I, like, you know, everyone has the Power Ranger series they watched growing up. I watched one where they were like, so Capcom Lionsgate and Baton, Baton the, okay, Baton the Sun made a short film. Oh, okay. Neat. Don't worry, Spyro, I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs. I'm going to sell it for a fortune back at Avalar. Uh, uh oh. Why are you looking at me like that? I, uh, <laughs> I've got to be going.
going now. Toodles. Prepare for one of the most satisfying sections of the game. Street Fighter is technically in the Power Rangers multiverse now. That's kind of fucking awesome. Come back here, money bags, you money, you gem thieving motherfucker. Give me my money. Where's my money, bitch? Every single gem. Oh, it's it's satisfying. Mm. Mm. Yeah, sex is pretty great, but have you ever chased around a dude who took all of your cash and like physically harmed him until he gave you all your money back? Pretty great. Pretty pretty fucking great, not gonna lie. Come back here, you fucking bad bitch. There was... <sighs> Power Rangers 2017 is genuinely my favorite movie. That is cool, my dude. I am... I heard it did okay. I heard it was pretty decent. I'm now really trying desperately to think of what the Power Rangers series I watched as a kid was. Because, like, it wasn't the original, and it wasn't, like, Power Rangers... It definitely wasn't the original, you know, that, that 80s one. It was one of the, like, 90s to 2000 ones. Love letter to the franchise and to the fans. That's good to hear. I never knew dragons were so fast. That's it. I give up. I'm retiring to Spooky Swamp to become a haiku poet. Buy money bags. <laughs> Can I still charge him? Get back here. Oh no, he runs into Crystal Islands. Damn it. Um. That's, that's cool. Now I want to see it a, a, a bit, actually. Now I kind of want to go see it. Um. Or like, find a way to watch it, you know. Just Lost Sparks level. The sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt. She built a factory to make robotic bugs. They're meant to bite Sparks. But I don't think they're any match for him. On stand. Oh, nice. I um, <laughs> I may have been using my mum's Stan account, so I may need. And I think she may have changed the password recently, so I may need to get that back. Um, I don't think she did it because, like, we barely used Stan. I don't think she did it because we were using it. She knew we had it. I think maybe she. It could be a case of she like logged out, forgot her password, and had to reset it or something. But I uh, next time I see her, I'll ask. Um, because I wouldn't mind watching that if you if you rate it so highly. Um, but uh, yeah, I um, fuck. I'm trying to, I'm really trying to remember the fucking Power Rangers series that I watched when I was younger. It was one with like they're all on like a space station and they were like lost in space or something if it was power rangers lost in space i'm gonna be fucking mad but it was like they were they were lost in space and trying to get home and they were in like a domed power station or some shit i don't remember a power station and like the zords were actual animals that then they like giant fucking kaiju like animals that they then turned into zords and the black ranger was a bull for some reason i can't fucking remember what is it? He had like a really cool name. Can't for the light. And like the villain was a giant scorpion or some shit. I can't fucking remember what it's called, but I loved it. It was like, that was the first Power Ranger series I think I watched. And it was awesome. At least to me, it was awesome as a kid. I don't know. I think I feel like everyone has the. That might have been lost. Lost Galaxy. That's it. That's what I, I knew. It had like lost in the title. I think it was Lost Galaxy. I I fucking loved that shit growing up. Every season is on. Net Are you kidding? Every fucking season of Power Rangers is on Netflix. Holy shit. How did I not know that? 
if Lost Galaxy is on there, I I may have to go fucking watch that. Oh shit. Ooh. Well, you know, I have been watching Star Trek recently, but fuck. If every season of goddamn Power Rangers is on Netflix, I may have something else to watch. Holy hell. I think one of the latest things I've seen from Power Rangers was that, um, like, it was, it was from a recent series, and, like, it was a villain making fun of the fact that they had, like, basically three Blue Rangers. And that made me laugh. That made me laugh quite a bit. You have a Cian Ranger, a Silver Ranger, a Blue Ranger, and a Purple Ranger. That's basically four Purple Rangers. Even the In Space Ninja Turtles cr Oh my god, I forgot that that was a thing. You know what I fucking love? I loved- like, I, I think I started with Lost Galaxy as like my first major Power Rangers thing. But like, every season they would have a crossover with one of the previous, um, or one of the other st um, Power Rangers things. And I always thought it was the coolest shit seeing the different Power Rangers, like, team up to take on a bigger threat. I think in Lost Galaxy they were taking on, like, an evil version of the Rangers, and they ended up working with, like, the Power Rangers in space or some shit. It was really cool. The Nega Rangers or something? I don't freaking know. Fucking Time Force. I remember Time Force. I think that I think that was the season that played after Lost Galaxy, and I I remember really liking it because I always liked like the evil or not evil Ranger, but like the the outcast Ranger who becomes like a good guy eventually. And the one in that was I don't know if he was like the Crimson Ranger or something, but he was like a dark red Ranger. Quantum, the Quantum Ranger. That was it. That was his fucking name. The Quantum Ranger was so fucking cool. Because he had like that dark red suit and it just looked awesome as fuck. Even if he was kind of a tool. But you know, he had he, he looked awesome. Had the best one of the best looking suits. Why are you so he just didn't give a fuck, that's true. I always love the, you know, the outcast ranger who eventually becomes, like, best sixth. You know, that's, that's more than likely why I really liked, um... <laughs> there was a season of Digimon, right, where they turned into, where, like, the, the trainers, or the, the tamers, I guess, the, the, the humans digi turned into the Digimon. It was season four, it had a killer fucking um, opening theme song. And I think I enjoyed that more than a lot of other people because it reminded me a bit of Power Rangers. Because they had, they were color coded, they had the whole transformation sequence, they had like a bad guy that eventually became a good guy and he was in black and stuff, it was really neat. I don't know, I really, I really liked, I liked season four of Digimon. Frontier. It was called Digimon Frontier. Remember, sparks can break open treasure chests, and using the guidebook, warp. Yeah, he can break open treasure chests. Little bit of a shame that I have now gotten all of the treasure chests. Oops. Um. <laughs> that was that was loud. Okay, we are on to the very last level of the game, the super bonus round. It's a hell of a name for a fucking final level. This whole level is just mini games and getting gems, and I'm super down for it. Also, look at that skybox. That's why the trip is called Sixth Range. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Actually, yeah, Loemon really was the fucking Sixth Ranger. Oh. Uh... God, I need to. I, I recently did rewatch um, Digimon Frontier, but now I really need to rewatch it. They've got like 
they've recently started, um, hang on, we'll talk to Bianca first, because, I was a little dang. worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress, but I always knew you'd beat her. This place is where the sorceress kept all her treasure, but after she was defeated, a bunch of thieves came and stole it. Yes. If you can catch the thieves, you're more than welcome to keep the treasure. Oh, by the way, Hunter is around here somewhere. He's been tinkering with one of his new toys all day, and he wants to show it off. You sh yeah, I'll go see him. Um, I was like, yeah, um, recently they've actually been re-releasing all of the major Digimon seasons on DVD in box sets, and I, I have season three, and I really want to get season four and season, f well, I want to get all of them. I have season three because season three is fantastic. My f it's one of my favorite fucking anime. Um, go, Green Ranger, go! <laughs> yes. Um, I want to get season... I want to get all the seasons of Digimon on DVD, but I really, really want to get um, season four because it's, like, under my underrated favorite next to season three. And, um, I also really... I want to get the fifth season because I haven't seen it, and I heard it actually was pretty good. I was a, I was a giant fucking Digimon nerd as a kid. I actually liked Digimon over Pokemon, but, um... Every, no, no one agreed with me, so, you know... I just went with what the trend was. Holy fuck. God, now I just want to watch Digimon. That's I want to watch Power Rangers, but I, I want to watch Digimon. Because fucking... I started talking about it, and that's just how my brain works. It's like, you should watch Digimon. You should, you should go fucking watch Season 3 again. You got the DVD, you should do it. Before you watch it, it helps if you're a massive fan of Power Rangers. Fair. I, um... I can't say I'm a massive fan, but I'm definitely... I was definitely a fan when I was younger, and, um... I still consider myself a little bit of a fan, I guess. I don't think I can get them yet. Ah! Oh, shooting down Spiral. these fuckers. Did you see Bianca? She was really worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress. <laughs> it was pretty funny. She tries to play it cool, but she was scared stiff until you came back safe. I just finished fixing up an old submarine. Want to take myself? Great! Hop aboard! <laughs> Want to take my sub for a spin, Hunter? You and Bianca—that's that's your relationship. I I'm I'm good. Actually, you should watch the fan film by. I have, I have actually watched that. That was really fucking good. I'm pretty sure that was part of the reason the fucking movie ended up happening. It had the beak! It had James Vanderbeek in it! That guy makes some. Adi. Adi Shankar? Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, he made- he, I, I actually watched a bunch of his stuff after watching the Power Rangers uh, fan film. He also made a halfway decent Venom fan film and a, a Punisher fan film that actually starred Thomas Jane, which was really cool. Because, like, Thomas Jane was actually really set to come back and play Punisher again. Yeah, I think he really wanted to do it and it just didn't end up happening, so as soon as Adi Shankar came to him, like, hey, I want to make. Yeah, yeah he was, wasn't he? That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Because <laughs> the way that movie is stylized, oh boy. Dread's a really fucking good film. 
that that's something I need to rewatch soon. <sighs> so we're gonna be here a while, I tell you right now. This is the world's fastest turbo snowboard. I fucking hate this mission. I fucking hate it. You remember that fucking um lost skateboard race with um with the fucking Rhinox in that other world? Yeah, this is that on steroids. I fucking hate this mission so much. Oh god damn it. There, yep, see? We're already starting. We're already starting off bad. Pilgrim for a sec. Do you have all the DLC for the game? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I brought I bought um, the Nice Chow DLC. I don't know if there was other stuff. Was Negascott DLC or did you unlock him? I can't remember because I, I know I had everyone. I definitely had um, I definitely bought the Nice Chow DLC. I remember that. I don't I, if there was like an extra game mode as well. I don't. Oh my lord. Let's try that again. Wallace Wells DLC. So, I don't know if I got that. I don't know if I ended up getting the Wallace Wells DLC. I'm not sure I even fucking knew there was Wallace Wells DLC. Um, which would be a shame, because, like, I, lo I fucking love Wallace. Definitely got it. Fair. Yeah. I haven't actually played the Skull Pilgrim game in such a long time, but I would like to go back. It might be something good for streaming, you know? I know there are a lot of people who love that game. I'm pretty sure Scott Pilgrim the game was one of the first, like, uh, uh what the fuck just happened there? What the, what the actual fuck? Um, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure the Scott Pilgrim game was like one of the first games I ever bought on the PSN. Back when I was but a wee lad. Because, you know, I didn't really have a, I, I think that was like after, oh no, I bought like, P, I bought like fucking PSN credits and shit. also the patch that added online multiplayer. I don't know. I don't honestly know if I got that, unfortunately. Fuck! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go through and try and get all the gems to the left in this, because there are some that I haven't gotten yet. Fucking hate this mission so much. Redback, you said it was a patch. Was it actually like a patch that added him or was it like bought DLC? Because if it was a patch, then I may have got it. Paid DLC, okay, then maybe not. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I think I only got knives. The knives is cool.
Excuse me, I fucking landed that. Ugh. Fuck this game, man. What happened there? Okay. That was weird. Same dev team made Mercenary Kings. I know. I actually tried... We gonna talk about what just happened there, or...? No? Okay. I actually tried playing Mercenary Kings because uh, I knew that the dev team made it, but um... Yeah, it was. I, I like it. I like that it was kind of Metal Sluggish. Um, I didn't play all of it. I didn't end up finishing it. I played like a couple levels of it and then just sort of put it on the back burner and then never ended up finishing it. Because that's just how I am as a person. If a game doesn't like immediately interest me, I'm kind of like, okay, I might put this down for a bit and then <laughs> never pick it up again, unfortunately. That's just kind of how I am. Two, one in front of me. How am I? Oh, right. Never mind. Fuck. Okay, just stay on his tail. Just stay on his tail. Just stay on his fucking tail. If you can get that. Oh, and he has done it, the mad lad! Boom! Yes! You schooled him like a bunch of frostbitten, flat-footed, molasses-eating, lead-pants-wearing, cross-eyed glacier trolls riding slabs of plywood with sandpaper on the bottom. Yeah, we want some shiny stuff, too. That's... that's a lot, Hunter. Are you okay? Do you have some things you need to let out? <laughs> oh, oh, we're still going. Okay. And there we go, that's that's a lot of gems. I, I think I may have missed some of them. Yeah, I totally missed a couple. Okay, well, um... I'll go get the last of these gems. fucking thing. But, uh, we'll go around the... So I started playing Far Cry Primal the other day. Why did no one tell me it was so fucking good? I've heard it was pretty decent. Um, Far Cry is not once... A... <laughs> the amount of games that aren't really my thing. Um, Far Cry isn't really my bag, but, uh, I have played... Actually, no, that's a lie. I really liked Far Cry Blood Dragon. That is, uh... I enjoyed the fuck out of that. Um... And I'm actually willing to replay that. I do actually own Far Cry 1 through 3 and Blood Dragon in, a uh, physical. Um, because they released, like, this... Blood Dragon was the shit. Yes, it was. Um, they released, like, this thing called the, like... The Survivor Pack or so... The Wild Expedition. It came with, um, like, all the PS3 versions of Far Cry 1, 2, 3, and Blood Dragon. And I bought it for, like, 20 bucks when it was super cheap, because I'd heard those games were a lot of fun. And I just never ended up playing it. Um, it's on my to-do list. It, it might actually, you know, maybe one day I'll actually stream it or something. That'd be a good way to play through those games. Um... And I watched a friend of mine play Far Cry 4, and it seemed it seemed entertaining, but, um, I don't know, the Far Cry series, like, I get it, I get the appeal, um, once again, just maybe not my bag. I'm not great with first-person games, unfortunately. I just stumble in them a lot, you know?
three I hated. See, that's the thing. I heard a lot of people really, like, three was the game that brought a lot of people over to the Far Cry series and convinced them it was good or something, but I don't know. Once again, I've never fucking played it, so I don't fucking know, man. People love to suck three's dick. Yeah, I know a lot of games like that. Okay. There's only one thing left to do. <sighs> wow, we actually did that in a surprisingly short amount of time. I am pretty impressed. Let's go take on the sorceress again. She looks no, fucking stupid with that UFO. The sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy Great you. Villain, and that's the appeal. Yeah. The best chance of defeating her is my flying saucer. I've cast some spells to give it extra firepower and an Alright. Let's do this. Oh, this feels so much nicer. <laughs> Fuck you up, sorceress. And this is an insultingly easy battle, by the way. Considering, like, you know, compared to Ripto, or well, even that last sorceress battle, which was kind of bullshit for different reasons, this is insultingly easy. Protag I hated the most. Yeah. She doesn't die in lava, but purple juice? She, she drowned in the purple stuff. It's Yin and Yang! Oh, they're adorable. Hey. We fucking did it. Babies. Babus. Babu dragon. He's very cute. It's my dad! That's a sweet way to end. Hey, okay, now we're actually, now that we're actually done, we can watch the credits. We did it! We fucking did it! We beat the Spire Reignited Trilogy! We can move on to something else. Pro Tiger 4 was, wasn't as whiny, he just went with the flow. Hey, fair enough. Um, hey, guys. So, fun thing. These credits go on for fucking ever, so we're gonna be here a while. But hey, we fucking did it. We beat Spyro 3, we beat the Reignited Trilogy, and now that I have footage of all three games, I gotta go fucking script a, a couple hours long vi I gotta go script a video, and I have to actually script it. I have to do it. I have to fucking do it. Because <laughs> I'm very, very good at putting shit off. I'm, like, I exceed at it. I am, if there was like an Olympic event for putting shit off, yo, I'd be getting the gold medal, but then I'd probably just uh, avoid going to the medal ceremony. But yes, oh, oh, fucking timing. Um, I'm getting a call, I will be right back. You have incredible timing. You have incredible timing. I just beat Spyro 3 on stream. We're literally in the credit. We're in the credits right now, so literally. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, that... Oh, shit. Yeah. That sucks. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, fair. Fair enough. nice of them. Yeah. Hmm. Probably, yeah. That'd be a good move. Are you doing? Are you doing? Are you doing FaceTime? <laughs> what? Oh. Hi. Oh, I am doing FaceTime. Hello. Hi. Apparently, I'm, I'm suddenly on headset. Stream. Say hi to Sarah. Oh, no, FaceTime. Hello. <laughs> hi. You're on stream. That's the camera. Say hi, guys. <laughs> She is nutty. She had she had some shit with um hi guy. Uh, she had some shit with the uh, with getting KFC and missing a bus. It's pretty shitty. Um, yes, we're we're just gonna let the credits play out because you know this is nice. Also, like a stupid amount of different studios worked on this game, and they deserve credit. Also, the art is adorable. And the music's funky and awesome. But I look forward to that video. It was my skills and it was your skills and my stalking to beat the game, especially the stalking. Especially your skills. <laughs> Thank you, Redback. Um, yeah. So yes, as I was saying, I'm very good at putting stuff off. But now that I have footage for not just this game, but every single fucking game in the Spyro series, spread across a couple of different hard drives, I have to script a video where I'm going to talk about all of the Spyro games and what they mean to me and what I think of them in a sort of a review style. And it's like over 50, it's 15 fucking games I have to talk about. So it's gonna take a while. It's not even the scripting that I'm that worried about because I know what I want to say. It's actually fucking editing everything together, because that's going to be a... Oh, excuse me. A long fucking video. But I want to make it. Because it'll, like... I want to make it to see whether people actually want to watch it. And I want to make it see to sort of prove that I can. And to sort of just... I want to make it so that I can, like, start doing this. Because I want to do this. I want to... I've been watching so many creators lately that, um, have, have all just been like, just do it. Just fucking start doing it. If you need jokes for it, I'm right. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'll give you a writer's credit. Um, yeah, I just, I want to make, I want to make these videos. I want to actually fucking, it's, it's about all I can contribute. <laughs> um, that is some gorgeous art. <laughs> That's adorable. It's like Dragon Starbucks. Um, yeah, I need to. Um, I need to fucking make the goddamn video, but it'll happen. I'll get it done. And as soon as I get that one done, I can start on another one, and I can keep going. 
and make a series of videos where I talk about series of video games for fun and sort of review them and give my personal thoughts and shit because that's what I want to do. And if the streaming and that become successful, then who fucking knows, man? I just want to make shit. I really do. And I want to put effort into it, because I've, I've gone two years where I made, like, the most low-effort fucking YouTube stuff. And it, it did drain me a bit. I just, like, I'd make this... I'd do Let's Plays, and they were fun, but... Uh, it just drained me a bit. And I can admit that, yes, it was very low effort, but it was something. <laughs> it certainly was something. A very special thanks to Insomniac Games. Low effort is my plan. <laughs> yeah. I've done, lo I've done low effort for two years. I'm ready to put a little bit of fucking oomph into it. Uh, with additional special thanks. And a sp super special shout out to all original Spire of the Dragon team members who contributed to the original three games. Uh, Activision Publishing. Okay, this is where it gets fucking long-winded as shit. Promise nothing, give even less. Oh, that's me. That's me to a fucking T. First time I started putting any effort into pretty much anything was... Well, not... I did put effort into my, um, into the Let's Plays, but nowhere near as much as I wanted to. I started putting a lot of effort into uh, the videos I was editing for Fenrir, mainly because I needed to do a lot of censoring for those Let's Plays. Um, but I I started putting in editing jokes and doing a lot more effort, and when I did, it felt good. Like, particularly to see the amount of people who watched them, and how many, like, how many people actually reacted or responded to those jokes and stuff. I thought that was good. So, yeah. I want to put in effort so that people can see my stuff and like it and maybe respond well to it. I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> now I'm just rambling, because fuck. It, it's gotta do something over these fucking credits, man. Um... <laughs> riveting names here. Ivory Jones? That's an amazing name. Um, so we'll look at... Hopefully my friends and I can get our fucking plans off the ground soon. Okay. I wish I had more friends who are... I won't say willing to help me, because they are. I've had friends show up in my videos before. They're very cool. But I wish I had more friends around me who were, like more into the idea of, you know, collaborating and making a big sort of series kind of deal. I don't know. You know what I mean, right? Like, <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't even really know what I'm trying to say. Oh, there is a knocking on the door. I will be right back. Good person. Sarah's here, guys. Hi. We're watching the credits together. We've had a day. Sarah's had a bit of a day. <sighs> What'd you get? Yeah. Hat. <laughs> I'm 
very excited for what she's about to pull out of this bag, guys. Oh my lord. That. This is a very large box of what I assume is a large amount of chicken. Oh. The one box. Oh lord. And also, I got three extra, like, chicken tenders. Because that sauce was, like, so fucking good. Yeah. We got some KFC up in this motherfucker. Got that Kentucky fried. Motherfucking chicken. Uh, this stream is not sponsored by KFC, but hey KFC, if you want to hit me up with a sponsorship, hey, KFC, come, come on, man. Yeah. Peace. I'm gonna get into Peace. let's playing and podcasting robot. Oh, thank you. I wanna let's like fucking do a podcast. I'd like to do a podcast. Oh they gave me aioli sauce. Oh, is that bad or Well oh, they gave it. me both aioli uh, uh, the aioli comes with the three chenders. That's what oh. it is. Gave me serviettes and these fucking dinner rolls are the shit. They They're are really so nice. good. They're really sugary. Mm -hmm. You know that sugary smell you can smell from like a mile away. Do you want a bite? Yes. It was basically a bunch of teenagers working, and I think they had some new stuff on. Yeah. But motherfucker, like, no one packed my meal for like ten minutes. I'm sitting there like. Are you waiting? And I'm like, yeah. And I tell them my number and they were like, fuck, no one's fucking packed it. And it's the kind of box where you get one of everything. So there's a lot of like individual things you've got to put in there. Mm. It's not just like a, you can grab like three of that, four of that and you're done. Oh, I want it. I want it. Very noodly boy. Please. Yeah. <laughs> what is your perfect name for a podcast? Uh, right back. My mates had a good one. Um, I'm interested to hear what yours is. Welcome, this is our mukbang. I'm, I'm so glad you asked. Mukbang. Mukbang. That means eating broadcast. Well, we are live on Twitch and eating. We're broadcasting ourselves eating. There are four people in chat. Hi. I know. But one of them's here. Ah! A A A D H D. Triple A, triple A D H D. That, that is, that is actually fantastic. That is fantastic. Come on. Come on, drink this. Hold on, this thing and bounce off the wall. So our so old... was actually so fucking good though. I got my clothes done so perfectly. Very proud but then of you. I was like, fuck it. I just there's so many hurdles today. So Redback, I assume I assume that everyone on this podcast are people with ADHD who get drunk. Let's <laughs> That's the entire point. Autism, Asperger's, attention deficit. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good idea for a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. That's what my brain has. I am a girl who has the ADHDs. Mm. One of the good things when mine manifested in the way where I actually got diagnosed is like eighty percent of girls with that like with ADHD don't get diagnosed until later life. Really? I didn't know that. I think it, I don't think it's eighty percent, but it's like um I think they're 80% more likely than boys. Mm. Which isn't as big of a gap because it's like a, it's proportions. Mm. My, um, <laughs> my friend had a very dumb name for a podcast, which I still love. It was, um, it was a podcast, <laughs> you're adorable. It was a podcast yeah. called, um, Four Dudes and a Watermelon. Ah, what are they doing with the watermelon? I'm the autism. One of my friends is Asperger's. Other friend's friend is friend ADHD. ADHD. That'd be a really that'd be a neat podcast. Um, no, nah, it's it's four dudes and a watermelon. Like it's just four guys sitting around having a normal conversations as a podcast. But every week, we just don't mention it. You There's a watermelon called, in the room. You, mm -hmm. you guys could call yourselves the A team. <laughs> I 
That's. I do like yeah. triple eight, triple ADHD. Two thirds of that turtle is true. Well, yeah. Yeah, fair. Eight, eight. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm depressed. That's what I thought. Oh, dude, I think we're getting to the ends of this, end of this fucking, um... Oh, I'm glad you liked it right back. <laughs> <laughs> no sheep were harmed during the creation of this game. A few norks, but no sheep. Oh! <laughs> I want that shirt now. It's the toys for Bob team. I and they're dogs! I'm gonna get you that shirt now. You should. But I don't uh, know where to get it. That's it might super be a sweet. Shirt. I think it's probably an no, I think they do sell those. Black spider oh. shirt. I mean, you've got the next closest thing, which is I do. the first, like the chest bursting one. Mm hmm. What you might like to get. Spyro's a chest burster, hell yeah. I think we're fucked up. Okay, fine. I'm quite proud of the name, honestly. It's a- it, that is a I very good- name. I'm I, not saying change the name, I'm saying that's just what you can refer to yourselves as in the third person. I always really liked, uh, Critical's name for a podcast. They just called it the official podcast. Yeah, the eight, but no, like, still call that the podcast, you can call it AAA, like, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> no, and that's- then, that's how you could introduce yourself. Welcome to the Triple ADHD podcast. As always, we are the A-team. <laughs> Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to limit yourself to one pun, kiddo. Oh yeah, fair. Oh man. That'd be neat. We That'd all be... we all like congregate though. People who have like weird fucked up brain things. I we do. I actually really wanted to start I wanna start a podcast with um Shadow Fenrir and Poker Shadow and I'm Shadow ninety nine and it's just like the th it's the <laughs> It's the Shadow, the Shad Bros, or yeah. the Shad Team. I don't even well, know what we call it. League of Shadows. Yeah, that's yeah. the podcast. And I'm Sonic. <laughs> Three Shadows, one Sonic. This was not planned. Yeah. This was not planned that you would be Shadow and I would be Sonic. No. Maybe but I'll be I'm... Shadow. I'm already Shadow. Okay, I'll be Sonic. I'm already Sonic. <laughs> but um, I just thought of a powerful idea. What about Thank Knuckles? You? Nerf Knuckles, yes. No. Uh, what about Amy? Nerf Amy. Fine, I'll be Tails. I'm already Tails. Um, no, but I'm already Master Pro. Yes. Big I'm already Master Pro. Big ADHD mood yeah. is um, I have bought myself in my lifetime two fidget cubes. I have lost both of them. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> It's a big ADHD is, uh... Here's the thing to make my ADHD better. I have lost both of them because of my ADHD. <laughs> Where'd you put them, Sarah? I don't know. I can't remember. What was oh, you paying attention? Can I, a, can I have a bite of that chicken, please? Just the right hand. No, no, no. You, 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 may not, you may not hold. You may only bite. That's spicy. That's good. Like a zinger patty? They basically just give you a zinger patty. Hey. Mm. Okay. Oh, that was Nate. You're Nate. Three extra lies. What a nice way to end this off. Well, um, fuck. Guys, we finished Spyro 3. We have finished the Reignited trilogy. Now I need to find something else to play. That's a lie. I actually have something new to play, but, you know, well. <laughs> I can't. Twitch won't allow that. Don't tell them. What? Don't tell them. They'll know. Trust me. <laughs> they monitor that shit. Hang on. I want to see Spyro do like the idle animation where he sneezes. It's only 10:50. This has not been a particularly long stream. Play something else. Look at little sparks. Okay. I do have something else I want to play. Um, do it, do it, do it. You know what? I can't. To swap games, I'll have to, um, I'll have to end the stream and come back. But if uh, all five of you in chat are willing to wait around, 
Uh, we can be right back in just a little bit with another game to play. So, uh, thanks for tuning in for Spire 3. We'll be right back.